This sign marks the start of a safety corridor, and the city says the goal of it is to have drivers pay extra attention to pedestrians. Car after car comes down 22nd Street by the Santa Rita Park. But after a steady increase in traffic deaths across the city over the past five years, something had to change. You know, if we save one life, you know, that that's that's huge. In 2016, 51 people died in a traffic accident, 60 in 2017, 69 in 2018, 80 in 2019 and 88 just last year. Now the city hopes safety corridors can help to reverse this trend. The corridors include rumble strips, flashing signs, extra speed limit signs and flags to alert the driver to proceed with extra caution. It's really, again, like driver awareness. Um, you don't need to, to look and analyze every sign around you, but um, the, the, they, they're, they're intended to get in your subconscious. Um, and then when something's really important, you know, we have flashing, flashing beacons and things like that. Blake Olofsson works with the city as a traffic safety engineer. Right now, these are the locations of the five safety corridors across the city, but Olofsson says that more could be on the way. I feel like the cost is fairly low. We're talking about $15,000 a, cor a corridor, which is, is really low um, in the scheme of things. Olson says the cost is worth it to help drivers, but pedestrians also can do their part. If you're going to try and cross a six lane road that's going 45, 50 miles an hour, you know, maybe that's something you don't want to do. Maybe you want to take the extra time and go to, you know, one of our hot crossings we have. Now, if you have a concern about streets in your neighborhood, head to your website to find out how you can make them safer. Reporting in Tucson, Greg Bradbury, KGUN 9, on your side.